Someday we'll get paid for this. Somebody tell me when to go. Hello, Scrapple News fans. From high atop the Scrapple News Towers, I'm AP Ticker. Mayor Nutter was down in the Gulf of Mexico yesterday as part of BP's new plan to solve the oil spill crisis by putting unpopular first-term big city mayors in charge. Reportedly, Nutter's solution is to close the libraries. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie announced this week that he wants Rutgers University to grow all the miracle medical marijuana. <laughs> that was Freudian. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie announced this week that he wants Rutgers University to grow all the medical marijuana for the Garden State's alternative treatment centers. Our choice is a pair of fine young men I met at a fish concert by the name of Hippie Pants and Peace Bear. These dudes abide. Roots drummer Questlove had his Kanye moment last week when he twittered his sympathy for Dante James, the confessed rapist and killer of Sabina Rose O'Donnell. I'm going to let you all finish Morning Sabina Rose in a minute before launching into a long do-the-right-thing style reminiscence about buying Prince and Led Zeppelin albums on vinyl and backing up boys to men when he was 18. How nice for you. Boys to men, ABC, BB. Mm -hmm. The deadline for public comments on Comcast Corporation's proposed deal to acquire a controlling stake in NBC Universal Incorporated ended Monday. The deal would enable Comcast, the largest cable TV operator, to control one of the nation's largest entertainment companies, NBC Universal. Our comment, fuck you, Comcast, and the horse you rode in on. They said they would get back to me on my comment three weeks from Tuesday, sometime between 7 a.m. and midnight. Um, Comcast, you're really messing my Don't tell me that look. Jeez Louise, watching TV was so much easier when I was a kid. You just turn the dial, and if it wasn't on 3, 6, or 10, it wasn't on. <laughs> and if you were bored, you went outside and played in traffic. I, I've soiled myself. And now for Scrapple Sports. First, we had the Phillies fan intentionally vomiting on a little girl. Then a teenager was tased in the outfield, and recently a baby was shown on TV drinking a beer. And now, another weird development in Philadelphia sports. Scrapple Sports has learned that a homeless man has been living in the bushes just over center field in Citizens Bank Park. The homeless man has been there since early May and apparently has a collection of over 50 balls, two bats, and eight cans of soup, and is said to be happy as a clam in his leafy perch, calling it the super luxury box of homelessness. The Phillies have not commented on this startling revelation. The World Cup continues as the U.S. team tries to advance to the second round. A win against Algeria on Wednesday puts us in the final bracket of 16. A tie with an English tie, or uh, also a loss, gets the Americans in with goals becoming a factor. In Cape Town on Monday, Portugal bombed North Korea 7-zip, proving yet again that communism will always fail when confronted with the whining, cheating prima donnas of capitalism. Count on it. In April, the North Korean team had received special in-depth guidance from gracious leader Kim Jong II. Reportedly, his pep talk went like this. Win or die like dogs. Man, it's a long, sad walk from the World Cup to a labor camp outside Pyongyang. I believe that's pronounced Pyongyang. It was when I was there. I'm A.P. Ticker. And I've stumbled on the side of 12 misty mountains. 
and lived to tell the tale, I might add. Oh, where have you been, my blue-eyed son? And where have you been, my darling young one? 